let's look at, at factoring a cubic polynomial. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to factor by grouping. And for now, that's the only way we're going to look at. Later on in the course, we'll talk about uh, factoring with um, the rational roots test and synthetic division and things like that. But for now, we're just going to group it. So how does that work? Well, we group the first two terms together, and then we add the, the second two terms, the group of the second two. So this will be x cubed plus 6x squared plus, and then minus 4x minus 24. So we haven't changed anything. We just decided to group these into, into pairs. And now we factor out of each group what we can. So on the left side, we can get an x squared out of each term, and that just becomes x squared times x plus 6. And then we have to add to that, well, what can we get out of the next term? Well, we can get an entire negative 4, right? This will be negative 4 times x minus, oh, sorry, x plus 6, right? Because negative 4 times positive 6 becomes that negative 24. And now we have an x plus 6 multiplying both terms. So we can just factor that out. So this becomes x squared minus 4 times by x plus 6. And we're almost done, but remember the difference of squares said if, if we have x squared minus a squared, this is always going to be equal to x minus a times x minus b, or sorry, plus x, x plus a. Sorry, there's no b involved. x minus a times x plus a. Well, that's what we have here. Is in this x squared minus 4 is the same as x squared minus 2 squared times by x plus 6. So now we can use the difference of squares to factor this completely into x minus 2 times x plus 2 times by, oops, sorry, I missed a parenthesis up there, times by x plus 6. And now we're done. This is as simple as, as we can get this problem. So we, we factored by grouping. That's how we're going to do it. What happens if you have a coefficient in front of the x term? So let's look at that. What if we had something that looked like uh, 3x cubed plus, um, plus 9x squared plus uh, x plus 3? What are we going to do now? Well, we're actually we're going to do the exact same thing. Nothing changes. So, so when you have a cubic polynomial, if it factors by grouping, if this grouping method works, it's really, really quite simple. So we're just going to set up our groups here. And we have 3x cubed plus 9x squared plus x plus 3. Well, what can we factor out of, out of the group on the left? We can take out an, an entire 3x squared, right? And now we'll just be left with, on the inside, we'll be left with just an x plus 3, right? And now plus, well, what's common to x and 3? The only thing common to both of those, actually, is just the number 1 right? 1 times x is still x, and 1 times 3 is still 3. So we're going to factor out of 1. It's, it's really not factoring it out. It's always been there, but we're going to write it just to make this more clear. And now we have an x plus 3 common to both terms, so we factor that out. So this becomes 3x squared plus 1 times by x plus 3. And that's as simple as we can get this particular problem. But as you can see, factoring by grouping is, is, it makes, makes these problems really easy. So until we talk about the rational roots test, this is the only way we're going to try and factor uh, cubic polynomials. Okay, see you in the next video.